It's also World Breastfeeding Week, an annual celebration to highlight the benefits of breast milk and to both mom and baby. This morning we have Kathy Thomas and Beth Brewer here with Indy Lactation Care. Good morning, you guys. Thank, Thank you so much you. for being here. Good morning. Thanks, Hannah. So you are both registered nurses, mm -hmm. um, certified lactation consultants, and then you go to people's homes and help them through this process. But first and foremost, for anyone not familiar, what is this week all about? Well, it's an exciting week all around the world. There are over 79 countries that are celebrating World Breastfeeding Week to draw attention to the importance, the health benefits for both mom and baby. And the fo focus this time, this week specifically, is about returning to work, which really is most of our demographic. Mm. Uh, mom's returning to work, and it's not easy. Some businesses are doing such a great job in providing a location that's clean, a place for them to store their milk, but still having the time to mm -hmm. pump while you're working, uh, even with a hands-free pump, is still not an easy thing for our families. I think about here at Wish TV, we've had a lot of moms, myself included. We are lucky to have a pumping room here. Not everybody has that access. What are some of the rights that moms should know as they return to work to make this a possibility for right. them? Well, I always encourage moms to start speaking to their HR department and their manager and their peers before they ever get back to work. A lot of times it's a female supported business and get your team members on your side so they know what your needs will be maybe for a year or two of pumping. Uh, you have the right in Indiana to have a clean location to pump and a nice clean place to store your milk and the time for normal break times to pump and get away from your work if that's your desire. Um, unfortunately, we still have calls and emails almost weekly from moms that that is not happening for. Uh, there are still a lot of restrictions for them at the workplace, even if they have, as I said, hands-free pumps. Some nurses are still working as they're pumping their breasts. So it's amazing things to think about with mm -hmm. return to work that can be very stressful. I think I saw one time that it was like the amount of hours that you spend pumping is uh, <laughs> equals out a full-time job in itself exactly. over the course of a year. Um, so Beth, we highlighted how you go and help moms where they're at, at their home before they even return to work. What is something you want those moms to know? Because you guys are there for the whole process. Absolutely. So one of the big things that we really want moms to know is the best thing you can do is be prepared. And so while they're pregnant, it's a great time to meet with us before they deliver, letting them know what to expect when they go to the hospital or wherever they're delivering, how to be prepared. Um, and then to make sure you have that support system around you. But making contact with us allows them to know who to reach out to. When things are starting to, to get more challenging, they already have someone that they know they can contact and work with. And then we see moms through the whole process. It's after right soon after the baby's born. And then we may see them weekly and then monthly. And we're even helping moms when babies are a year old or two years old and they're trying to work through weaning. We can talk through that so that transition is much more smooth and they feel supported and encouraged. Really quickly before we go, can you guys kind of run through the benefits to both mom and baby of breastfeeding? Absolutely. So for the mom, when you're someone my age, over the age of 50, we're seeing a reduction in high blood pressure, high cholesterol, breast cancers, ovarian cancers. The longer you breastfeeding, the more benefit there is to the mother. To the baby, we've known for many, many years the health benefits as far as GI issues are reduced, uh, chronic ear infections are reduced, respiratory illness, asthma, allergy, we could go on and on. It's amazing, again, as we said in our clip, human milk for human babies will always be the healthiest option when we have it. We're very fortunate to have so many moms in Indiana that want to help other moms by giving them milk if they don't have enough, though. Amazing. Thank you guys both so much. The Thank work you. continues. World Breastfeeding Week does, though, end tomorrow.